My name is Susan Point. I'm an artist of Coast Salish ancestry from the Musqueam First Nation in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm a descendant of Chief Kate Polanoch, who welcomed the first Europeans to the shores of the northwest coast of British Columbia. Our territory covers all of the Vancouver area and its surrounding areas and the northern tip of Vancouver Island in British Columbia, as well as the southern part of the Washington State in the United States. I work in many media, paperworks, glass, wood, concrete, cast iron, aluminum, stainless steel, and precious metals, just to name a few. For this particular art piece, I chose to work with western red cedar. The imagery I've created for this piece is the spawning salmon, in honor of our dwindling last wild salmon within our rivers, streams, and creeks, all of which are under the threat of being lost, buried beneath pavement, and landfill or have been crowded out by development so, so the salmon can no longer spawn within them. One by one our, our streams are being lost. Many of our rivers and our streams and our creeks throughout the world are divided amongst many different conservation organizations and governments and private landowners as well, whereby old growth rainforests have been logged out and developed. Throughout our parks the bogs and the small streams and creeks are drying up and being polluted. Salmon navigating these rivers and streams and creeks to spawn face many unnatural disasters and face all kinds of abuse, including the culverts, eroding banks, encroachment, and cyclists. Pedestrians and the pets and the horses sometimes wander through these waterways as well, destroying the habitat, the incubating eggs, or disturbing the salmon fry. The street rainwater sewers drain into the waterways as well. This means that the pesticides and detergents from washing cars and other adverse chemicals show up in the waterways after every major rainfall. After years of freedom and struggle in the open ocean, this is not what they deserve while returning to their rocky stream beds where their odyssey first began. This wind-fallen old growth western red cedar spindle whirl is a tribute to the salmon in all waterways. I believe the appeal is universal because many people in many regions can understand the story. Children of the future can look back and see that we were all conscious of what was happening, whether we were helpless or not. My artwork and design is done in my Coast Salish native art style. It has been hand carved and hand painted using subtle but bright colors of the salmon. West Coast native images are more than stylized symbols of animals. Each character has his own traits and history. Our people believe that the salmon is the giver of life. As indicators of wealth and the cycle of life, salmon in pairs are good luck. I have incorporated salmon eggs in various stages of development around the outside of this spindle whirl, which is also carved in cedar, symbolizing the protection they need for continuance.